Hello everyone. Tonight's meal is chicken pot pie made with boneless, skinless thighs. I'm gonna put these down in the Instant Pot with some salt and pepper. Looks like a lot of salt, but I'm gonna add some water and I want the flavor of that water so I can use it later for the pot pie. And this is going in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna cook this for 40 minutes. Make sure that seal is on. I'm gonna push the poultry. It says 20 minutes. I'm gonna up mine just a little bit only because these thighs were partially frozen. And so I wanna be sure that they're done. And we'll check back in 40 minutes. For my chicken pot pie crust, this time I'm using puff pastry. I've laid out one sheet to thaw so we can roll it out and use it for our crust. Our chicken is still cooking and the crust is beginning to thaw. And this is one egg with a little bit of water. So that's what we're gonna brush on the top whenever we get everything mixed. This is just gonna hang out until we get our filling put together. Okay, our chicken has finished. I let it naturally release for about five minutes, but then I went ahead and pushed the release. And you can see that it is still bubbling down in there and it's perfectly done. So I'm gonna remove, it's just falling apart. I'm gonna remove those thighs and I'm just gonna put them out on this cooking board to let them cool. And when they cool, we will come back and chop them up for our pot pie. And we'll also be using this good broth to add back to our pot pie. Okay, these are the things you'll need for the rest of the pot pie. This is two cups of the broth from where we cooked the chicken. This is two small carrots, a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. This is a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a teaspoon of dried thyme or Italian seasoning. I had Italian seasoning, so that's what I used. This is a cup of frozen peas, one small medium, I mean one medium onion, two stalks of celery, small stalks chopped. It's about a fourth of a cup of heavy cream and a half a stick of butter. We'll also need a little salt and pepper too. In a Dutch oven on medium heat, we're gonna melt that half a stick of butter and then we will saute our onions, celery, and carrots until tender. Okay, all of the chicken has been chopped and ready to go into the filling. Our puff pastry has thawed and I've got a little flour on the surface and I'm gonna unroll that and we're gonna roll it out a little thinner. Okay, the butter's melted and I put the celery, carrots and onions down and a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. It's good to lay, layer or season in layers as you build your dish. So we'll be back when this gets tender. Okay, as you can see, our puff pastry has been rolled out almost double what it was. So it will be fitting on this dish. And I have sprayed this dish with non-stick cooking spray. Okay, I think our vegetables are tender. We are gonna add our Italian seasoning or thyme if you chose to use that. Some poultry seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and add our flour. Flour will have a raw taste if it's not cooked, so this will cook for about two minutes just stirring and coating all of those vegetables with the flour. 
and let it cook. And then we will add our broth and our chicken and let it get thick. Okay, our flour has cooked. It's time to add our chicken. Our broth. And we'll add our peas after this gets a little bit thicker. We'll add our peas and our cream. And we will be ready to fill our pan with our filling. Okay, off of our puff pastry, we're gonna cut a little strip off of each end. And you do not have to do this. This gives a nice little surprise in the bottom of the dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bottom. You don't have to have a bottom crust, but it gives a nice little surprise. So that will, I'm gonna put that in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. And then we'll top this with our filling and the rest of our crust. Okay, our filling is getting thick. You can see that it's starting to get thick. I'm gonna go ahead and add our peas. left in there and I'm gonna go ahead and add our cream the filling will continue to thicken as it cool as it cools and also as it cooks in the pan so we're just gonna let this sit for a few minutes I'm gonna turn the heat off while we wait on our bottom crust strips to bake The bottom crust is out of the oven and it will be puffed. You can just push it like that and it'll go down. I know the whole bottom's not covered. That's really okay. If you wanna cover it all, you can cut more strips or thaw out another puff pastry sheet. Um, but this still gives each person that's eating this just a little bit of bottom crust. And it's kind of, kind of a surprise. You don't have to use it at all. I'm gonna Pour the filling in on top of this, and then we will finish it. Mmm, that filling smells so good, and I've rolled our crust on top of our dough roller. I just took it and rolled it around. It just makes it a little easier when you're topping it. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So we're gonna see how that does. Oops, 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 oops. It should fit all the way across, and and try to pull this side just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this side's got a little more and that's okay. We're just gonna pinch it up just a little. It's okay if it covers a little bit of the edge and I'm just gonna kind of press the sides a little bit. Kind of press the sides. And I'm gonna come in here and just we'll make a few slits. You can make designs if you would like or anything. But this is just for a weeknight supper. And it's just myself and my husband here and I'm not into fancy. You can do a little cutting. If I were serving this for guests, it'll still be very pretty. And you remember the egg wash I made earlier? So I'm just going to brush that along. A few, um, saturate your brush. It's going to have more in there than you think. It doesn't look like a lot of it's brushing gone, but it, it'll be very pretty and Okay, so I'm gonna finish brushing every bit of this. And I'm gonna stick this in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 45 minutes or until puffed and golden brown. And we'll see what the final product looks like. Okay, this has just come out of the oven. It was actually about 26. 
six minutes or so. So it didn't take quite 30 minutes. It looks delicious. Mm. Also, you can make this with leftover turkey. Just put in two cups of turkey instead of the chicken, and then you'll have to get some chicken broth to add, or leftover turkey broth would be fine too.